Hello guys and welcome back to the UDK Advanced series and I know I promised to go a little bit a uh, little more into detail into Kismet and in this video that's what I'm going to be doing and I want to show off um, a different type of trigger I want to show off a damage trigger basically what that can do is when I hit something I can trigger off an event like a matinee or an animation or even just kill the player if you re if you really feel cruel so Let's see what we've got up here. You can see I've just got like a nice little wall and I've got like a little A above here and basically I've set that up to animate. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, we're going to be making a event which is triggered off when we fire at this barrel. So let's say we do 5 damage to this barrel that uh, A over there is going to start shooting. I mean not going to start shooting but it's going to start moving over to the other side at the moment it's doing completely nothing so first of all let's go ahead and get kismet up and we're going to click on the barrel and we're going to right click new event using static mesh actor 10 and then we're going to do take damage basically that means that the barrel is going to be able to take damage uh, maybe like uh, a little bit like a character but we can trigger off things with it so now that we can take damage of it, let's go ahead and hook that up to play. And then just gonna be using all the default settings. And then if we go ahead and go in, I shoot at this barrel. You can see that it's triggered it off. But when you're playing around with settings like this, you don't really want to just have uh, set damage fresh uh, set damage thresholds. Basically, what the damage threshold is is the amount of damage that the barrel has to take before it go ahead, before it triggers off the matinee that I've got here or whatever you want to do like a camera shake I know it's all up to you so let's say I have something like a cannon it's gonna be like 500 we have a nuclear bomb it's gonna be uh, I don't know 5000 or we have someone just all oh, I don't know Chuck Norris punching it's going to be a million million so Let's just say we've got someone shooting at it with a bullet just once. We're gonna have something like five. So you may wanna have to you may want to experiment with the damage. So if I go ahead and press play now, you can see that it pretty much goes straight away. You don't have to take too much damage just to get it moving. So also, uh let's trigger off something else, like maybe a announcement if I can find out where it is, I'm not too sure. Uh Okay, what else can we have? Um, once it's completed, I'm just going to make it go back to reverse. And then, let's say if I go to my damage take actor, we wanted to be able to trigger off more than once. So, if we go to event, we got our max trigger count here. Basically, you can set something like 10, 15, or inf uh, infinite, if you're really happy. So, let's just go ahead and set that to 0. And now it's set off, and it should go back any second now. Uh, yep, there we go. It took its time, but it did the job. So, I should be able to hit this and trigger it off again if I'm lucky. And there we go. That's all you got to worry about when it comes to uh, damage triggers. There isn't too much to it. There's a thing, uh, there is things like player only, so it will only be by the main character. Well, basically the person that's playing. Uh, you've got some damage types you can put in here so it's only going to accept certain damage types and you've got all different damage types here. Uh, you may, you can add in custom ones you can. Uh, also, that seeing as there's ones that are allowed, there's obviously going to be ones that aren't allowed. So let's say I go ahead and find something like UT damage type rocket. Uh, yep. And then if I go ahead and press play our normal weapon still works fine and triggers it off okay one second uh... let me just go ahead and press play again and there we go it's now triggered off so now let's say i go ahead and get my rocket uh... see if i can find it it should have one here somewhere Okay, maybe not. Uh, 
There we go. I accidentally put a slash in front of it. If I go ahead and keep shooting at it, nothing happens. So, you should know how to set off damage triggers appropriately now, and you should be able to work with those, add a little bit more interactivity to your levels. I'm probably going to go with a bunch of different uh, Kismet options in the future. So, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.